Now that you have your new computer built, or you're just after buying a new computer, you have to connect up the mouse, keyboard and monitor. We will start with the mouse. This is a USB mouse and is connected to a USB port. And here is the USB port. Like most connections to a computer, the USB port and connector are keyed, so they can only be connected in one way. So just turn the connector the opposite way if it will not fit in the first way you try. Now the next connection we will make is the keyboard and this is also a USB connected keyboard. So find a port, a USB port, like this one here that I'm pointing to and plug it in. Again it's keyed, it'll only go in in one direction. And that's it, mouse and keyboard are connected. The next connection we will make is the monitor or screen. This guy here, so this is a BenQ monitor, 24 inch monitor. I'm just going to turn it around here now and show you the connections. So the first one we look at here is a VGA connection, Video Graphics Array or Adapter. This guy here. So we're just going to remove that now and show you the rest of them. So there are three important connections to note here. You have a DVI connection, a VGA connection and a HDMI connection. And I'll just show you them there now. That's your DVI connection, there's your VGA connection and there's the HDMI connection. And there are two of those HDMI connections because they are becoming the standard for high definition multimedia connections. So here is a closer look at the three connectors. You have VGA Video Graphics Array, primarily high density analog, which is the most common connector used today, but is being phased out of most new computers and monitors. The next one here is DVI, Digital Video Interface. And this, is, and this connection is also going to be phased out because it does not support HDCP meaning high bandwidth digital content protection. And the one that will replace the other two in the not too distant future is HDMI, High Definition Multimedia Interface, because it supports all interfaces that are used today. High definition stream video and audio simultaneously and supports HTCP. Now, I'm going to show you the VGA adapter, the most common connector, but it is the same procedure for the DVI connection. And if you have a HDMI cable, it plugs in like a USB port. So the VGA adapter has 15 pins, which correspond with 15 slots in the connection on the back of the monitor and the two standoff nuts that hold the connector in place. Now we'll plug in the VGA connector like so. So just push it in. Now it can be tight so take your time and then tighten the two screws at either side. Now the next connection we have to make is the power cable. This guy here. There's the connection plug. And here's the cable and there's three pins in it so you, you can only go in in one direction. You just plug it in nice and snug. Also included on this monitor is a headphone jack and audio in and out. Another nice feature to this monitor is a USB hub and there's the connection that's made to the computer. It's just a USB cable. So I'll just show you those four here now. So there's the four USB ports. Now I will show you how to connect the VGA adapter that we connected to the monitor and make the connection to the back of the computer. If you have a graphics card installed then you must connect the monitor to the graphics card.
and your graphics card will be positioned down here. This computer does not have a graphics card installed, so it's using the integrated graphics on the motherboard. And so you plug the monitor adapter into either the HDMI, DVI, VGA connectors, depending on which type of cable you have. And they are positioned here. So the one we are connecting here is the VGA adapter. And here is that connector. So just plug it in and remember it's keyed. It will only go in in one way. And then just tighten up the screws. Now all that's left to do is connect up the power to your computer. So here's the power cable. Here's the power socket in the back of the power supply. And that's the switch for turning on the power supply. So you just plug it in here. Now make sure that the switch on the power supply is turned on before you plug it into the wall. Or you'll have no power going to the power supply. Now there is one last thing you need to do and that is plug in the monitor. And make sure it's powered up before you turn on your computer. That's it, you're ready now to install your operating system.